Greetings, Aquarius and Aquarius rising. This is your Western forecast for January 2025. In my yearly forecast, I was describing how the four outer planets, Pluto, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, are all changing signs in 2025. Very rare event for all of them to change signs. So there's a big paradigm shift. Now, if you hadn't watched it, it's for some very interesting information that within six months is going to be a lot more hopefulness. But the first six months, there's a lot of anxiety because everyone to some level is feeling that everything is changing. And a lot of people could be uh, feeling a bit out of control. But there was a fifth important planetary shift that I wanted to wait till the January um, because the four outer planets, the first six months, it's triggering a lot of uneasy, unpredictable um, transitional energies. Then it gets much better at, come July, August. It's the beginning of feeling more hopeful, July, August. But the first six months, could be feeling could be fraught with a lot of anxiety to some degree for most people, um, and this. So I wanted to wait for the fifth um, very important planetary transition, and that's the karmic North Node. At the beginning of January, it's moving into Pisces, which is your Pisces is the second sign past Aquarius. The second is where we look to for one's cash flow, personal income. The karmic north node amplifies, intensifies wherever it's transiting or whatever planet it may be hitting. Now, more on that later, but that is the karmic north node is in Pisces in your second house of income only once every 18 to 19 years. Now, if you've been watching my videos, um, on my monthly videos, I always like to start with the new moon because the new moon draws our attention, our priorities to an important area of life. Now, the new moon will be December the 30th, 2024. Um, and it's going to be in Capricorn impacting your horoscope for all of January. The very end of January will be the next new moon in Aquarius. And so that's when, as you're going into February, that's when you're all beginning your new yearly cycle. But the new moon is December the 30th, is in Capricorn, the sign prior to Aquarius. And so it's the, it's the shadow sector. And this is the waiting game, it's incubation, or you're doing a lot of preparing or studying. That whole um, could be very favorable for a lot of introspection or spiritual practices, but on a more mundane level, it's more like a holding pattern, unless you're really busy working behind the scenes before you present your project, your new ideas, when the sun goes into Aquarius, which is actually going to begin on January the 19th. But it's really the beginning of February that it's, there's more, um, uh, more positive energies around it. So, um, before I break down more of this new moon in Capricorn and the karmic north node in Pisces. If you enjoy these kinds of videos and would like to see more of them, click like and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can receive the latest postings. And, um, well, let's just move on with it. So, Let's start with the new moon is in your shadow sector or the holding pattern or doing a lot of thinking or preparing, developing projects to be debuted more 
in the coming weeks, more by February. The full moon is always two weeks after the new moon. The full moon, January the 13th. So a day, two, three days around the 13th, it's going to be a really emotionally reactive, stressful full moon because it's going to be aligned with Mars, warrior Mars, that's frustrated at, because it's retrograde and, it doesn't, and it's in Cancer, which it really doesn't like being in the sign of Cancer. Um, so that full moon is um, bringing a lot that's being revealed that was getting started um, with the maybe behind the scenes projects December the 30th, but January the 13th, that full moon with Mars retrograde in Cancer can be really stressful and reactive. Now, it's, it's in Cancer, and Cancer is six signs past Aquarius. The sixth house deals with three areas in astrology. Your job, your health, service. The job could also be, you know, employees, co-workers, um, and then the sixth house, body maintenance, and then also service. Service kind of goes along with the job because you got because there will be no career if you don't do the day-to-day -day job routine. So you, in a way, the service could be servicing the career or getting or maybe more interested in being of service and volunteering. And a lot of that could be coming up with the sixth house. Now, the um, Mars itself, which I discussed in the yearly and discussed in the December forecast, Mars every two years goes retrograde. December the 6th, 2024, Mars went retrograde in Leo. And come January the 6th, right now, the Mars is retrograding out of Leo back into Cancer, into your sixth house. But being retrograde, it's feeling more exhausted, frustrated, impatient, irritable from January the 6th to February the 23rd with your job or with your co-workers and or with um, any health matters. Um, then February the 23rd, the Mars still in Cancer, still in your sixth house, goes direct, releasing a lot of these blocks and frustrations in the sixth house and then and stays direct being more focused with clarity to achieve your objectives with six house matters till April the 17th. So the end of February, March, to the middle of April, you could be really actively achieving your goals. With six house, well, that could be getting healthier, exercising. When it comes to work, you could be you could be learning new job skills, getting a new job, starting a new sideline business with that six house. Now, all of that goes very well with the karmic north node in your second house of income. So there's this strong desire to make more money. And it's going to start off very favorably, um, at least some really good ideas in January because Venus, um, beautiful, benefic, creative, romantic Venus is going to be in Pisces all of January. Venus is in Pisces once a year because it takes 12 months for Venus to go through all the signs. In January, here we have this karmic north node compelling us to take a whole new approach um, towards increasing your income when benefic Venus will also be in Pisces in the second house of income. Now, Pisces is the exalted sign 
for Venus. Meaning Venus, when a planet's in its exalted sign, it gives its best results. And when the karmic north node is aligning uh, with a planet, so now it's in Pisces, and the Venus, transiting Venus is in Pisces, Venus is already amplified being in Pisces. But now for the month of January, um, it's going to be in amplifying the Venus. So the Venus is going to be amplified being in Pisces, being more amplified being with the North Node, the karmic North Node. So there's this strong passions and desires to make more money. And that Mars is all that aggressive, ambitious energies to... Um, start a new business or in you know or get more work or, or learn more work skills to get more monies and the um and so you're doing a lot of this thinking about all these possibilities at the very beginning of the month with the new moon in that shadow sector um because you're not acting on it yet but doing all this brainstorming, your research, is this a good idea? But the sun goes into Aquarius, January the 19th, for four weeks. Now, the 12th house planning, holding pattern, and researching is still dominant until the end of January. Then at the end of January, the next new moon's in Aquarius. It's all these new beginnings, um, new purpose. But you're starting to get a sense of where you would like this a new path, these new goals, and starting to like brainstorm them, think about them. Um, come the last week of January, January the 19th. But you're still under the new moon, so they're still preparing and holding back and researching. You're ready to start taking action more or being more committed to the goals by February. Um, but come that end of February through April, with Mars going direct in the sixth house of work, which is being really ambitious to take the lead, start a new job, start a new business with the karmic north node in the second house of income. There is an important um, new uh, financial path that wants to come through. But, but on a completely different um, side here, the, Venus is the planet of love and creativity and with the karmic north node in the second house of income if you're an artist you could start deciding to make make money how can you make money with creative you know des design artwork acting um, but venus in pisces by itself is very the desire for really romantic energies and the karmic north node is intensifying it so i know it's more about um dominantly increasing your income and maybe making starting to think about making your monies through the arts but this is it's still venus in pisces with the karmic north node it can still be triggering a lot of emotional desires and fantasies and romanticism i want to thank you for watching if you like information on how to book an astrology reading or to check out my two question offer visit my website at gardino.co that's dot co until next month be safe and well